Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about Indian School of Business Hyderabad के बारे में. Of course, इस college का fees से लेके admission process तक सब कुछ काफी happening है. And today we have Deepthi over here who will be helping us to know everything about it. So let's get started. Of course, यार ये college tier one college है, सबका dream college है. तो इस college के बारे में हम लोग सब कुछ breakdown करके जानेंगे कि कैसे आप admission process तक जा सकते हो, क्या-क्या placements हैं और क्यों इतनी ज़्यादा fees हैं इस college and of course, many big alums of this college of Ankur Warik who are coming out of this college So, I mean, there is something to talk about this college So, let's go and go And if you like this video or if you want to go to ISB and want to give an honest opinion then do like, share and subscribe to this channel and share this video with everyone Hi Dutti, welcome to our YouTube channel and how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good too. So, um, could you please introduce yourself and uh, tell us about your background? Okay. So, uh, I'm Deepti. I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, born here, brought up little here, little there. Because my dad is a journalist. Uh, coming to my academic background, I have done my bachelor's in electronics and communications from JNTU. Post that, I've done my master's in PTH in Sweden. And then I also did a master's in data science. And then I worked with Ericsson and Hexia. Oh, wonderful. Uh, so, so currently you are at IASP and Hyderabad, right? So I think it's a pretty tough college to get into. And um, of course, it's a tier one college. So, you know, it's everyone's dream. Uh, so let's understand, like, what's the admission criteria of the college? And I guess you have prepared for GMAT or GRE, I think. Uh, so uh, what's the percentile uh, one should want to get into the college? So I think the basic eligibility for ISB is your minimum work experience criteria. The rest, everything is based on your profile. Like your competence and everything is judged on your profile. Like you can be an you, you can be an academic excellence or you can show your competence in some other field. Like it doesn't have to be that, okay, you need to score this level of GMAT to get in. It varies from profile to profile. There could be different aspects to your profile that you may have exposure to uh, like different countries or different fields or you may have done something really amazing in your life which is not really related to academics but yet showcase your competence or your passion so i think that but you do need to uh, like uh, write gmat or gre and you need to have work experience of at least two years Okay. Okay. Uh, what exactly, uh, when you said that, you know, you need to have something different, what exactly does it include? So, okay, I could like tell you a few examples, like the profiles that I've come across so far. There's an uh, athlete who's here, there's a veteran who's here. And I don't exactly know their GMAT scores, but I'm sure that they do vary a lot. Like, they somehow, because they only see can you get through ISB and can you get through the course in, with like flying colors or do you have that whatever it takes for you to get so it doesn't have to be that okay you need to have this percentile to get in like okay, for IMs you do have it right like you need to get 99 percentile to get into it yeah. but it's definitely not like that for ISB you can show your excellence in any of the fields yeah you need to have a decent GMAT score, but you cannot quantify the like number ki ye hona chahiye. And how difficult was GMAT or GMAT for you? Uh, it was fine, I guess. Like I think I've uh, attempted twice. In the first attempt, I scored six ninety. In the second attempt, I scored seven fifty. Uh, so the first attempt, I prepared for like fifteen days. Okay. Uh, I was working simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think there was a little miscommunication and I didn't prepare well for the AVA part, like the analytical writing part. And I just wrote one sentence and came out because of which I couldn't apply. Okay. Uh, which was a very stupid, like dumb mistake on my behalf. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, I think I did apply though. I actually still applied. But then I couldn't get in because it was round three. And then like I did do a res review of my application later and I was told that it was because that uh, when it's your... Uh, analytical writing score is so low it kind of questions your ability to even speak english properly like they were like okay do you have any other like toefl toefl or ielts or something like that i didn't at that point of time 
Okay. But later I scored well, so it was my uh, I'm a reapplicant for ISP. Okay. You literally studied for just like fifteen days and you have cracked it. Like wonderful. Thank. I mean, there's no cracking in GMAT, right? You just score something and that just mm-hmm. yeah showcases your ability. There's like. No, for IIT there is like okay you've cracked the IIT because you get you got this rank you're gonna get into the college for GMAT you you don't know what you are how you are until your application gets through because there's several aspects like even for ISB it's not just GMAT you need to portray your skills in other aspects you need to show your leadership skills or your competence in other aspects apart from that there is also a interview that you need to clear and there are so many applicants you need to be better than them. They're like, and you are. You can't even. You don't even know. Like you know, which aspect should I be better than them? Like it's. It can be anything. Okay. So I guess. So definitely, GMAT is definitely not like you know. You've cracked it. I think GRE, GMAT are very. Okay. Basic. Okay. What do you say? Situation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what? What exactly about the interview process? Like, uh, did you participated in any? Uh, you know group discussion or personal interview or something to get into the college okay so yeah i think there was no group discussion there was an interview mm-hmm. there were three panelists and i was there they mm-hmm. were some questions that me i had to answer back to them and post that after a month i got my results wonderful so let's talk about the college life over there and of course hyderabad is a beautiful city so how was your overall experience how was the crowd of the college and uh, how were the faculties over there and everything the faculty is really epic like they they really good they very caring and uh, they have a they kind of make sure that everybody understands Like if you are, if you want to know the subject, you can always go knock on the uh, like prof professor's door and then get the help you need. And there are assistant professors, like assistant professors, not professors. I forgot ASAs and all who help us out with our stuff. And apart from that, the whole cohort is a combination of different profiles. There's a CA, there's an engineer, there's a veteran, there's a uh, I don't know like that. different kinds of people like there's a doctor there are different kinds of doctors again so uh, definitely more or less we do get a lot of help from our own peers like before every exam there would be a p2p session i know like people take so much time out of their schedule busy schedules to help each other out here uh, and the life as such is very hectic to be very like if you really want to do stuff this is the place that the multiple things going on simultaneously there are case competitions that are going on there are like EL, elp programs that are going on every two weeks we have our mid terms and terms and apart from that there are always parties going on and you know there is like you would want to socialize you would want to network you would want to know as many people as you want and everybody here is so uh, how do i say like you know they're so interesting like you would want to know them you would want to know how did they end up here like Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's there's a lot for you to do here once you get in, and there's a very little time. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, you know people usually say that uh, if you get into the best college after that you don't have to study. It's like you know two years will be gone, but it's it, that's not true. Of course, it's like you know uh, there are a lot of students who uh, who are exp- who are more uh, you know experienced than than you. So I think uh, it would be really difficult to stand out uh, in a bunch of. people so of course i think that's just a myth to bakwas hai yaar abhi tak to pata chal hi gaya hai ki that to i have been hearing from 10th class like now i use 10th class just for my date of birth but that is like not used anywhere yeah and yeah i have seen people who are from nasa and who are from isro not nasa sorry from isro and stuff like that who are very competent it's very intimidating to be with them and like you know be in the same cohort at times i do feel like what did i even do like you know that little feeling mm-hmm. but then again i feel like everybody here has their own special thing mm-hmm. and while you may feel that you are not good at something than the other person but you are like somehow special in your own way mm-hmm. so i feel that is something which i've learned here and i feel like i would want to take it away with me when i'm leaving as well like it's a small takeaway is that you know no matter what you are special in your own way like you may like like i keep comparing myself i had that op- like 
obsession from my childhood that I keep comparing myself to others. And then like you know I put a lot of pressure on myself ki yaar mujhe karna hai and all. But then here I see that everybody is so different yet competent in such a different ways. Like I'm like okay I can't even compare like things and mm-hmm. okay. Great. Uh, so let's talk about the most important question that is placements. And before that I would like to know what exactly was the fees of your course? Uh okay. So placements we are not we are not yet done with the placements. It's just starting. placement fever is just starting the companies have just come uh, but there are good companies uh, and there are good things going around there are different fields like product management consultant consultancy strategy and a lot of streams uh, based on your competence based on your interest you kind of pretty much choose what you want to do and then like apply to these companies mm-hmm. and uh, i think isb does prepare you for it like we have mock interviews and we have uh, uh uh it resume reviews uh, the alum network is very strong they try to help out like they go beyond like their limits to like help you out above and beyond limits to help you out so it's it's okay like i feel like you can do it okay mm-hmm. what was the course which you have pursued over there yeah it's pgp it's a one year mba post graduate okay. program okay okay and how many companies often visit uh, in the college Uh, I've heard that there are like I didn't really have I don't really have a count, but I've, I've heard that four hundred to five hundred. Like I need to look at the stats. I don't have a very definite answer. Mm-hmm. And what's the fees for the one year program which you are doing? Uh, around forty lakhs. Around forty lakhs for one year. Of course, it's a it's it's a hefty expense. Um, so let's talk about the uh, let's talk about it in a ROI perspective. um uh, let's understand it in a better way so um uh, abhi jaise ki if you are spending 40 lakhs a year so what do you think ki what will be the roi which you will what will be the you know uh, placements which you will be getting and uh, 40 lakhs kitne time mein recover hoga basically okay so i think uh, for me mba was a dream so it was not about how much uh can i get back and how much mm-hmm. but then uh, you can recover it in a year or a year and a half to be very candid on maximum 2 years if your main purpose of life is to fill like you know make sure that you're out of the loan like you know you put in but then the rate of interest is right, quite uh, the rate of return is quite good uh now that i'm not placed personally i don't want to vouch for it but then like i just spoke to my alums and everybody and then they they are quite quite happy with the results and everything Uh, apart from that, the average package, the starting package package is uh, around thirty four, I suppose. The last year it was around thirty four, and uh, the the main thing after this is that doesn't matter what you start with, it's very in- exponentially incremental. Like you know, uh, mm-hmm. apparently you get really good raises, and in two to three years you are at a position which is quite good, which mm-hmm. doesn't usually happen with other degrees. Yeah. Even I feel. For some extent, other MBA degrees as well from other colleges. So you can, like, if you're somebody who is interested in field, I feel in this field, I feel you should not really think about that aspect that much. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but honestly, you know, um, if anyone, if anyone from a middle class family wanted to. plan to go to you know this college then of course fees is one of the major aspect uh, which he or she will be going through so i think it's very important for an individual to know ki abhi itna lagaya hai to itna matlab you know itne course of wapas aa raha hai ya nahi ha wapas aa raha hai ya nahi basically aa jata hai so you know you get a lot of assistance from uh, isb <laughs> uh in respect to loans you get the best like uh, the least interest rates at from the best banks and you get it in like done in like days and all isb takes care of it like uh and the second thing is there are a lot of scholarships as well based on your profile there is like uh, income uh, based on your income based mm-hmm. on like if you have if you are a ylp or if you have shown academic excellence in, of some kind or you have a very diverse profile you do have a lot of scholarships mm-hmm. that would help you get through and uh, apart from that given no the and also you can recover and also the thing is the salary is just not for one year or two years it's just like till your retirement you're just going to go through it and the raises and everything the positions you get in i feel it's worth it 
Yeah, I I get it. I guess I hope so. I'm really hoping that's 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 my way to like आगे बढ़ने का right now. So, are there any internship opportunities as well during your course of period? Uh, there are experiential learning programs uh, and uh, pro bonos that help. Also, it's just one year, so it's not like you have three months of internship or something like that. Mm-hmm. But then, yeah, you do have experiential learning programs, and then you and this few subjects also help you like understand the industry better because uh, there are subjects that uh, that have a collaboration with. Um, the industry itself like the isb has a collaboration with the industry itself like i think there's a collaboration with microsoft or something like that that help finish through the subject so yeah you do understand the industry better and stuff like that oh that's fancy if you could name a few big companies who often visit to the college placements i think it's mckinsey is there there's been there's uh, uh, amazon there's geo the big four comes Mm-hmm. I guess yeah. There are a lot of fancy companies that do come. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, just one last question. So, what one advice will you give to students uh, who are planning to be a part of this college? I just think we should not give up because I didn't, and I could like I think um, my journey was quite different than yet. I didn't give up, and I could get through. So. Mm-hmm. Shoot your best chance, and I know we never know where you land up. Like I, I'm sure that everybody has their own profiles too. But make sure you're best at whatever you do. Like do it with complete passion. Don't discourage yourself. कि यार ये कौन देखेगा? ये क्या करेगा? Like just make sure you're doing whatever you're doing with like complete passion and complete dedication, and if you you'll get through. And uh, just want to know so that what are your plans for now and for future? Like you know, um, are you uh, planning to do a corporate job or you are, are you planning to start something of your own? Or? So I think my immediate uh, my immediate aim right now is to st- stay with a product based company or something like that, mm-hmm. and work with a complete chain of production like from the start, from research, everything, finance, uh, to the end point where the product is in the market and we see how it is doing. that's my current goal like i uh, i have from i'm from tech background so i never got to see so i'm like really fascinated to know that part uh, apart from that i think my real big aim for life is just to make a difference that that doesn't matter which route i choose uh, but i do want to make a difference like a significant difference uh, like i could make a place for myself so i think that's it Okay. So oh, I think uh, it was wonderful talking to you, and thank you, thank you so much for joining us on this YouTube channel. Same to work. You're doing great work as well. All the best for your yeah. upcoming you. videos. I'll I'll keep following up. <laughs>